Yellow. Who? So are you, you real ugly too. Oh, damn. You so ugly, you nope. fell down. Hey people, welcome to Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. This is Project Tank. Today is paint day, so if you've been waiting for some paint tips, stick around, stay tuned. I got a few for you. This is the latest addition, the Peterson's four wheel and off road. There's the cover in case you want to look it up. Joe gets these all the time, and sometimes there's useful tips in them, especially this one. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is not because it's like where I'm learning them from. I kind of picked this up by painting tanks at my uh, dad's shop. But anyway, it gives you a list of all the junk you'd need. Now, some of you guys are saying, dude, I thought you needed acetone, which if you're going to paint using automotive paint, you need virgin acetone. Not like this stuff you can get at the Home Depot. This is specific junk. Now, what's really going to catch your attention is this. I quote, you could paint your vehicle and do an amazing job for about $300 to $500. Well, guess what, Spanky? You can do it a lot cheaper. And what they're talking about is just this and materials. This would be the paint. This would be uh, the acetone. And this is the hardener. Basically, it's kind of like an epoxy. So when you mix this stuff together in equal parts, you have to hurry your ass and paint it or it sticks up in your gun. It even says, indicated by number two, just for those three, 150 bucks. Now this is exactly the same size can as what they're gonna charge you 150 bucks for plus the acetone and the, the hardener. This one's seven bucks. A gallon of it is $27. You can see how much the mineral spirits is. It's twelve sixty nine, twelve sixty nine. This one was ten bucks. And not only can you use it for oil based paints, but you can do it for wood products. You can use it for whatever. It's a very useful cleaner. So you decide. Do you want to pay something for some little measly ass and have to pay that much? Or this is why I do it. Plus, it's better because acetone strips oils and other uh, minerals out of metal so it's bad for it this puts oil into the metal and protects it that is good so you decide it's up to you this is better and it's cheaper and available at hardware stores everywhere <laughs> now about the only other tip i can give you is for when you're painting this is the area you want to paint and the area that you're paint sprayer hits is about that much per pass. Once you lay down your coat, the next pass should intersect between here and here. 50% overlay, do you follow? This was the first one, so your next pattern, psh, then your next pattern is gonna begin here. And carry on down until you get to the end. So if you're watching while I'm painting, maybe that'll pick up. Now remember, while paint is going onto the metal, it lays like beads. They stack. Now, at some point, they'll hit the pinnacle of what they can handle. And this is either the point where you're gonna get that way cool show car shine, or if you put one more drop of paint on top of that, it causes the runs. So you want to try to stack your pyramid all the way to that last bead and stop. That's your point. You have to get good at that. There's no way to tell you how to do it. You just have to learn it. So now I got to get to painting, babies. I hope you found the tips a little bit useful. I'm going to shoot everything on here. The bumper. The bed, the top. I generally like to start at the top and then work my way down. Kind of like with girls. <laughs> Suckers. I got to do a little bit of light sanding, but then it's going to be ready to shoot some paint on. Like here, drip, drip, drip. That'll show through, so I want to just lightly sand that with like some 300 grit and then move along. Babies. Kind of hoping that angle would have worked out a little better. I'm not sure. I have to wait to see how it comes out. Now there's a little bit of stuff in the paint. It's a windy day. 
but this is just the last coat before the last coat. So when this stuff dries, I'll pick out all the little fuzzies. Everything's in bloom, man. Anyway, I think it looks a lot better. So uh, once it dries, I'll be able to move it into the garage, but we need some more tarps to lay down. Got some shinage in it already. See, that's how you stack your beads, people. Not bad for picking up dust outside, but there is reflection. Where am I at in this? There it is. It's not going to focus. Anyway, you can see that where all the damage was, specifically the bed and all the scratches. Can't really see them, can you? It's like magic, people. I am also restoring the chrome and stuff. Bumper's still nasty. Grill's even nasty. But, I went ahead and cleaned some of it up. Now check that out. Ew. Whoa. Ew. Whoa. I'll also shine this up. Check that out, babies. That's some shiny, man. Oh, yeah. I'm just using steel wool. Now it's important, people. If the shape is long, rectangular, go with the direction that your eye sees. That way the scratches that appear in it to help shine it up won't be easily as recognized as up and down or circles. Go with the grain. Do the same on that and I'll come back and I'll show you how cool it looks. Let's give it a once over. Nasty. Ooh that's nasty. That's ugly. Oh that's real ugly. Oh you so ugly? So are you. You real ugly too. You so ugly, you fell down. I'll come back in a minute, people. Stand by. Witness the power of steel wool, suckers. Look at that. Washing. See that shine action happening there? Check that out, dudes. Wang. All the way down. Whoosh. You like that? Okay, you saw the chrome. Chromity chrome chrome. Also did the back tail lights. Looking brand new. Side blinkers. Also did some other junk, but that's not important right now. Went around, knocked off all the little fuzzies. It doesn't look too bad. Not too bad at all. It's a lot better. There's some up on the roof. And there's some in the bed. But they come right off. It's not a big deal, they just brush off. Look at that, dude. Still a little sticky, but it's just about dry. I have to shoot it again because there's still some spots like right here on the edge. Didn't get them. Got to shoot the hood again along with everything else, but that'll have to be done indoors. All right, people, the paint's got to set. Nothing I can do about it, and there's still a few things I have to do around on the farm. So thanks for tuning in and watching Bethel Brothers Hot Rod. Remember, Use American labor. Keep America working. It's good for the economy, people. Peace out.